Greetings, everyone. Greetings. A little early today for a little lunchtime Wednesday's Wellness Wisdom with Dr. Michelle. Of course, I am Dr. Michelle Clay. I am a two time best selling author. I am an empowering speaker. I'm Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Certified Holistic Health Counselor and Clinical Nutritionist. I help people who are burnt out, stressed out from circumstances that are not, do not, and will not change that result in chronic stress and its symptoms. I help you release that simply and naturally. So quickly, today's topic is stressors and your tresses. So as you can see, today I am big hair, don't care. Big hair, don't care. So what happens a lot of times with people is that when they have chronic stress, remember, stress is not just something emotional. It is a physiologic response. It is designed for our survival in the short term. But in the long term, it literally will adversely affect us from head to toe. So we're going to talk about the head part and our hair. So for women especially, We've always been taught that um, our hair is our crown and it needs to be looking a certain way and the blah, 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 this, that, and the third. But the thing about it is with chronic stress, our hair can fall out or it can thin. I experienced this years ago where um, at the top of my head in the crown, it was so thin. Sometimes with certain hairstyles, I had to wear hair pieces just to blend in. The other hair would grow around it. So many people experience the same thing. Now, first of all, let's make sure we, um, I put out this disclaimer. Just because your hair is falling out does not mean it is due to stress. So make sure that you see your primary care physician or your dermatologist um, to rule out any chronic medical illness that can be causing that. So three common types of hair loss as a result of chronic stress are just plain falling out. Because what happens is that we have different phases in our hair growth. And with chronic stress, the phase, the resting phase of the hair growth from your hair follicle is prolonged. So when that happens, after a few months, you just shake your hair or you're combing it or washing it and all this hair falls out. So that's one way. Another thing is people who are experiencing chronic stress may or may not or other emotional um, things going on might pull out their hair, whether it's their eyelashes, their eyebrows, the hair on their head. But this is most commonly seen in teenage girls. And then another way that you can lose your hair as a result of chronic stress, it may trigger this, but can also be a genetic cause, is alopecia. Um, that's one of the most common things that will send someone to the dermatologist. And your immune system, in essence, is like it's attacking your hair follicle. Now, we know with chronic stress, it can affect your immune system, okay? But you like, Dr. Michelle, I love that information, but what do I need to do about it? Number one is this, your nutrition, your nutrition. So with nutrition, your B vitamins, and I've talked about B vitamins before. B vitamins are good for hair, skin, and nails, but they're also fantastic. Oh, that truck is so loud. My goodness, get your stuff fixed. Um, also great for calming the nervous system. So good sources, good natural sources of B vitamins, if you're not supplementing, are avocados and green leafy vegetables. So until the avocados went up tremendously, and with all this stuff with Mexico, honey, I don't know what's going to happen with the avocados. I would eat an avocado every day. You see this hair, honey? You see this hair? Avocados grew this hair. Avocados grew this hair long and strong. Another thing that's really good is to make sure you have the building blocks necessary in your nutritional protocol to help build and grow your hair. That's going to be protein and iron. So for my sister struggling with the fibroids, we tend to be anemic. 
especially if you're a vegetarian. So make sure that you're supplementing properly with iron. So I have some natural sources that I supplement on a regular basis with iron. So if you have more questions about that, make sure you contact me. The other thing is, number three, is you just need to relax. You need to relax your mind and you need to relax I don't mean with chemicals. You need to relax your hair. So you see today, I am free, honey. I am so free. Like I said, big hair, don't care. So a lot of times what happens is that we're stressed due to life circumstances, and then we stress about how we look. I have cut hair, grown hair, cut hair, grown hair. I don't know how many times. And when I was growing my hair back, the key was for me to just relax. Also, I needed to release. You have to release fear about how you look. You have to release anxiety about, hey, about what people are going to say or think about you. So it got to a point when I went from very, very short to this, that in-between phase can be challenging. I just plain wouldn't look in the mirror. I just would not look in the mirror. And when you relax your mind, your emotions, it's a mindset, knowing that your beauty is something from within and radiates out. It has nothing to do with all of this. Um, but once you release the anxiety about what people are gonna say or think and this, that, and the third, you need to relax this. You know, stop pulling on it. Stop um, brushing it all the time. Stop perming it. Um, stop blow drying it. Stop curl ironing it. Stop flat ironing it. Stop with all of this heat and damage to your hair and just get into the having a new and different relationship with your hair. I say my hair is my antenna. So on a day like today, when it's all out like this, you know I am receiving all my messages and I am tuned and plugged in. So for a quick recap, when you're experiencing chronic stress, we're going to say four things that you need to do um, to help grow your hair back. Number one, make sure your nutrition is on point. B vitamins, your avocados, your leafy green vegetables. Um, make sure you have adequate protein and iron, especially my sisters that are, are anemic. Number three is that you just need to relax and release and relax your hair. I stop. Yes, I haven't permed my hair since. Let me see. It's been 17 years. 17 years. So, you know, stop flat ironing. Stop curl ironing. Just twist it up. Get a protective style. Get someone who knows how to grow some healthy hair. Maybe, like, my stylist uses a lot of plant based. Um, hair products so, and I eat avocados every day I don't do all of this flat ironing curl ironing blow drying and you just have to get a sense of freedom honey you just have to be free big hair don't care that's what you have to do I got hair in my mouth mm. you have to get free so if you need more information if you need more information and you don't know how to release the stress and this anxiety and get a sense of freedom, not just about your hair, but about your outlook on life, about your mindset, I have something special for you. Come learn more, release, recharge, and get free at the R&R Experience Release Recharge right here in the Big Easy City, the Crescent City of New Orleans. So make sure you register at www.releaserechargeexperience.com, www.releaserechargeexperience.com. I put the um, link in the description. So for those of you who are joining via replay, make sure you put hashtag replay and let me know where you're um, tuning in from. So now I'm getting ready to go in and let my stylist, the hair alchemist, get my tresses right on together. I kind of like it big though. I do like it big, but it's hot. It's hot and humid. So I'm going to go let her do some magic, some change and transformation to my tresses. All right, thanks everyone. Once again, Dr. Michelle Clay, your holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally. Until next time, and see you in November at the R&R &R Experience. Bye.